Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th, okay? Let's see if I can hold on to those. What do we have for around the 19th? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is fluid. I know I still have three more readings to do for the week ahead, and I do, do plan to do them tonight if all goes well. Um, so, yeah, what do we, I, this is the water signs that I have left. So what do we have for a message for around the 19th? Now, keep in mind, like I already said, the timing is for it. What do we have for around the 19th? Nine of Cups reversed. Devil reverse. So this is going overboard, going to extremes, extremely toxic. Uh, I wonder if somebody is drinking too much. I don't know what is, this could be like, <laughs> I don't know, it could be an overdose. And I don't, I don't know, I guess there's a such thing as alcohol poisoning, right? I just wanted to say overdose, so I don't know if that's the case or not. But uh, this is also about breaking free from some sort of addiction. We have somebody here that is very, very arrogant extremely arrogant, materialistic, uh, egotistical, very, very egotistical. This is, this, the devil in reverse can be extreme, any card in reverse can represent extremes, but this is, could be extremely egotistical or extremely addicted. Uh, it's something that needs to happen to break free. Somebody needs to remove some sort of toxic, situation from their lives. It could be a substance. I do feel like it is a substance. Okay, um, devil reverse. This is suffering in despair. Um, it could also be breaking free from things or getting worse. If you don't break free from it, it's getting worse. We could have an addiction that is getting worse. This is a deep, dark place. This is um, self-medicating. We may have somebody here that is self-medicating. There's Whatever is going on, there's a need to break free from some sort of obsession, addiction, uh, bad habit, whatever it is. The nine of uh, somebody, the nine of cups reversed is perhaps you know it's unable to give or receive love. It's it's a lack of inner happiness, low self esteem, uh, lack of success. Uh, Something is being overlooked and it's being, somebody, somebody is being overlooked and they're being overlooked because of their attitude. This is somebody that is very smug, very arrogant. Um, this is, uh, wishes not coming true. It's like feeling really, really low. It's shattered dreams uh, because of toxic behavior. This is... Um, somebody that is spoiled, uh, very, very spoiled, extremely spoiled, that is maybe losing control, you know, maybe they've, they've something about control issues, out of control. Um, there is some sort of uh, disappointment that is here. Somebody is disappointed. They're not getting their wish fulfillment. It's probably because of their behavior, their toxic behavior. Um, and they may be self-medicating. Uh, seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is about investments, about relocation. It's, it's This is a dead end. It's time to go somewhere. It's time to... Uh, obviously, the, there's... there's uh, no growth, something didn't turn out the way that they had hoped it wasn't taken care of, somebody hasn't taken care of something and not the way that they were supposed to and now there's no growth, there's no payout, there's no uh, reward, you might as well just pack it up and go someplace else. So that's what's going on. We have somebody here that is considering their options, they can see that where they're at, they're not getting anywhere and you know, there's it's time to break free. It is definitely time to break free, to plant seeds someplace else, to grow someplace else, to go someplace else. It's time to go someplace else. There's no, no reason to stay here. You can't water a dead tree. You know, if it's dead, it's dead. If it's over, it's over. So something is over. And it's it didn't grow because of well, somebody did they went overboard. Maybe they overdid it. I feel like they overdid it. 
It's, it's time to go. It's time to go somewhere else. Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is combative energy. That's what I just got instantly. There could be some news of legalities or uh, somebody may be agitated. They may be saying something that they, out of spite, out of anger, because this can represent anger. Or they could be intoxicated saying something um, or on drugs or who knows. This is... Uh, some sort of information coming out or words being said. This person has their eyes closed. They're very, very... I feel like we have a very uh, conceited, spoiled brat here. And I don't know if it's a if it's a young person. I mean, adults can be conceited and spoiled, you know. This is somebody that is very... Um, feels like we have somebody here that is doing things without thinking. This person's eyes are closed. It's like they're doing something. It's almost like crazy. This is craziness. You're not even looking where you're going. We got somebody that is doing something. It feels like it's stupid. Just like that. <laughs> that just clarified it. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, page of Swords. Now that is a message. Getting the message. Somebody's about to give a message or send a message. This is somebody who thinks that they're, they're this is a cocky. It's a very cocky individual. If you take a look at this person, it's like, ha, 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 I'm going to do this. I'm going to, and, and that's, that's the toxic behavior we're talking about. We got somebody here that talks a lot you know, and says things, and it's like very, if you take, I mean, I don't know if you got it from looking at this person's face, it's, this person is very, very cocky, I can't even think of a better word, it's like, ha, 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 I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say that, you know, and it's toxic behavior, extremely toxic, they're talking out of anger, this is somebody who is very smug and arrogant and needs attention, you know, and they think, they think it's funny, it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not because it, it looks like it's a very unhealthy behavior. It's not bringing them any reward. Trust me. They're, this person's behavior, whoever this person is, they're not getting the reward that they thought they were going to get from their behavior. We got some sirens here. So I wonder if there's going to be some news of legalities as well or if there's some sirens that are coming. You know, if there's, I don't know if there's some sort of emergency, you know, um, because of toxic behavior, because of overdoing it, you know, because of uh, something. Um, oh, I just looked on the bottom. Ten of Swords in reverse. Now, the Ten of Swords in reverse is suffering. It is suffering. It is pain. It is hurt. It is uh, the worst has happened. It could be a relapse. It is recovery problems. It is worse to come or things, problems worsening. We could have somebody that is beyond help. Now they've made their bed. They have to lie on it. Nobody's coming to help them because of the their actions. There's some sort of chronic health problems or chronic addictions here too. We have somebody here that has been overdoing it by the looks of things. And I feel like they're about to get some bad news. Or there's some sort of bad... I feel like there's bad news that is coming. Ten of Swords. This is like... Uh, it's either a near-death experience. Could be a death. Could be... Could be. This is definitely... I feel like it's the end of a situation. We And it, it, it could be. It feels like there's some sort of... Uh, toxic situation that is coming to an end but I feel like there's been resistance to this a lot of resistance oh goodness now the two of pentacles is a card of change 
It is a card of balance, a need to be flexible, and a need to adapt. So that is what's coming. A change is coming. Now, the Two of Pentacles is a realignment. It is a higher power, higher than ourselves, that are realigning things. So there's going to be a realignment. We have somebody here. Again, the eyes are closed. We have somebody here that is not... I don't think they're being very practical. They're not being uh, very wise. They're not, open your eyes. We got somebody here that is probably not very awakened. They're, they're closed off. This is, it's time for a change. It's time to take that next step. We have somebody here that is juggling. They are juggling life. They are missing things. Somebody is missing the boat. They're missing opportunities by playing games, by going back and forth and not making practical, wise choices. Somebody isn't thinking. They're investing in something that is that is a dead end and they need to relocate. They need to do something else. They need to stop juggling and they need to make a choice. They need to make a choice in regards to their future. They need to plant their seeds someplace that it's fertile, fertile. Okay, they need to go someplace where uh, there is known to be growth. You know, I think we have somebody here that uh, is so smug and arrogant that they won't listen to any advice from anybody. But the universe is here with that two of pentacles. That is a geometric power higher than ourselves because of that uh, infinity sign. Okay. But there's also what goes around comes around here. Somebody is getting some sort of, uh, you know, what you reap is what you sow. So somebody is not getting any support. They're not getting any wish fulfillment for uh, acting the way that they act. And I think that there's going to be... I feel like we have somebody here that is about to, uh, I don't know. I feel like they're about to experience a loss of some sort. This is a loss with the Seven of Pentacles. It is. It's a loss. Um, two of Pentacles is a change. Somebody's been playing, they've been juggling, they've been going back and forth, missing opportunities. Playing games, because juggling is a game. But it's time, it's time for balance, it's time to make a choice. But this person will not open their eyes, they will not wake up. This is like somebody that is refusing to wake up. You know, the Two of Pentacles is a profit and a loss. So I feel like in the future, we, we do have a loss. We do have, but we, this loss leads to a profit because when you, when you go someplace else, when you plant your seeds somewhere, someplace else, the profit will come. So this is a choice that is being made to invest someplace else because the current investment is dead. Just shuffle the world card. So the world is a major completion. It is. This is a major life change. This is the end of a journey. Somebody's journey is coming to an end. This is leaving the past behind, moving towards the future, something coming full circle. Like I said, what goes around comes around. Something is coming around for an individual based on their actions. I also feel like there could be some public recognition that is coming. We have completing one cycle and beginning, completing one journey and beginning a new one. Somebody is has learned a life lesson or they are about to learn a very huge life lesson. 
Now, and this is also a card of evolution. There's probably going to be a change of residence in the near future. This is stepping through the victory wreath. It's the end of a battle. Seriously, it's the end of a journey. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a chapter that was very prominent. Okay, something that was very significant in your life is coming to an end. Traveling. Somebody is traveling to a new destination. They're stepping into a whole new life. And leaving the old life behind. This is a major completion. It's over. Get prepared for a change. There's going to be a realignment. You may not see it coming. But there is a toxic, unhealthy situation that is coming to an end. I feel like somebody has wished for something and it has turned into a nightmare. This nightmare is coming to an end. Good luck.